Okay, so the next part of question five asks, how many fatty acids are in a glycerophospholipid and how are they attached? We have a glycerophospholipid drawn here, and there are two fatty acids attached in this case. At the carbon one position of glycerol, there is a saturated fatty acid, while typically at the carbon two position, there is a monounsaturated fatty acid. At the carbon three, there is always a phosphate group and then a variable head group. We circled where this uh, variable group would go. So if you substitute a hydrogen in here, this would be called phosphatidic acid, whereas if you replace X with a choline molecule, this would be called phosphatidylcholine.